Good morning. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. So it's 8 a.m. in the morning and we've just come down here before breakfast and are doing some light, um, just some light cardio, some faster cardio, a bit of like um, interval training, so some like just walking and then some light sprints, just for about 30 seconds each. Just to try and do like a bit of a fat burning before we wake up this morning and have our breakfast. Oh hey, it's a lot of work. So probably gonna do this for about half an hour, 20 minutes. And then, yeah, that's the way we start our day off. We'll try and burn all that excess fat before we start fueling our body with the Okay, I'm so done. I hardly ever do cardio. And that's interval training, so walking and sprints. And it takes you out of you so much. Maddie wants to do some abs, so I'm gonna do a bit of weighted abs. With this, it's basically pulling your elbows straight to the ground. Alright, so our last one we're doing for abs and core this morning is just gonna be a plank. So both wearing full Gymshark. Oh, look at you. We just got back um, after that little session and I feel great, it's the best way to start the day because now you feel energized and like motivated. Um, so now I'm just gonna cook up some breakfast. I'll take you through my recipes. Gonna make some zucchini and corn fritters this morning. Um, just got a creepy message on Instagram. It's not okay to do that. So for the avocado um, like mash, I'll put capsicum, avocado, some lemon juice, I'm gonna put this um, sriracha hot chili sauce, and then just some salt and pepper. And then for the fritters, we've got corn, carrot, which is already grated and gone lazy. Zucchini, sorry, that onion's supposed to be over there. Um, we're gonna put some chili, some garlic, eggs, and flour, and a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna have this juice. So I'm gonna do the corn, the carrot, the zucchini, um, and chuck it in there now. And then I'm also gonna put a little bit of garlic inside and then start mashing all together. That's a lot of corn. Um, one one down there. Pick it up. I'll pick up the right in a minute. <laughs> and then for this, I'm gonna put two eggs in because this just helps stick it all together. Mm. That's your breakfast sorted. <laughs> and you serve it up on a plate, it's ready to go. <laughs> and then I also add in like three quarters of a um, teaspoon of garlic. To add a bit of flavour because who doesn't love garlic? And then I think you use about a half a cup of flour. And then you keep mixing this in until it starts going away and you can't see the white parts of it. Here, yeah, if you add too much um, flour in, you can add like a little bit of water in. Or if it gets too watery, you can add more flour in. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of water in, because it's supposed to be anyway. And then keep going. And there you go. It's supposed to look something like that. It smells so good because you can smell the garlic and stuff in it. Alright, so now I'm going to start making like the avocado mash. This way it mashes already by itself, inside its own skin. And then I get the knife and cut it, like a normal person. Perfect. And I just mash the rest of it with a fork. So now it's time to add it in again. I'm just gonna go and chuck it gracefully into my hands. <coughs> gracefully, ooh. And then and mix it around. So it's gonna be so colorful, this one. This is actually the best to have on top of the fritters. To add a bit extra, I'm gonna put this sauce in. So I've never put the sauce in yet, so I don't really have much. It's pretty spicy. You don't like spice as much, do you? Not as much. So they're both completely done now. I'm gonna go and cook these ones. Put it in the fridge for like five minutes while I'm cooking that, so it's nice and cold. And then we can eat it. So I'm preheat the pan, plenty of oil in it to start with. And then let that heat up for a little bit. Once your pan's heated up enough, I just grab like a big manful and just put it in a little bit more. So like a nice and big. 
and then I just pat it down until it makes it into like all the same thickness. And then once I've done that, I just put a lid on it so it cooks a little bit from the top as well. Alright, so while I'm waiting for that, um, I'll get my juice out. So I don't really drink coffee as much anymore. I used to drink it like every day and kind of depend on it. But I bought this big thing of juice from Top Juice the other day. So this one's got orange, pineapple, watermelon, and ginger in it. And it tastes amazing. So you need to try it if you haven't tried it. So I think these are pretty much ready to flip. So let's get my spatula. Oh, look at that. Oh. Absolutely perfect. Ah. Oh. Stop it. Then the second side really doesn't take too long to cook, so. And now I usually just grab them and then just put them onto the one plate and put them on top of each other so they keep each other warm. Yeah, so there we have it. We have the four corn, zucchini, and carrot fritters. And then the avocado mash and my juice. So that's my breakfast for today. So after I finish these, I'll go and do some work on my laptop. I'll do my emails, I'll do some editing. Ah, uh, all right. Come on, give us a taste. That tastes so good. All right, so I just finished cleaning up after having breakfast. Hit the spot, as it does every time. Isn't that right? What? But I'm gonna go for a shower because um, we just did gym and all sweaty and stuff. So I'm gonna have a shower, um, brush my teeth, and pick myself up and everything. Then do some emails and do some work. Um, typical me just touching my hair all the time. Everyone keeps commenting about it. But I'm also going to show you when I have my snacks. So I usually have like a mandarin and green tea. It's loud out there. And I'll show you any other snacks and stuff that I have along the way. All right, so it's currently 10.23. And I'm about to have my morning snack. So I'm gonna have one of these, green tea with lemon. There's like two of these, because they're pretty small. So I also did a big shop yesterday, which I filmed to show you exactly what I buy when I go grocery shopping. I went to Coles, and I'll add it in here so you can have a look at it all. Also, if you aren't following my Instagram, I'll link it down below here. And go check it out, because I always post like lots of recipes and food ideas and all that kind of stuff. So we just pulled up to the shops. Um, <laughs> we just pulled up to the shops and um, we're just gonna do some grocery shopping. I'm gonna take you along and show you exactly what I usually buy. Um, Cause I'm gonna cook all my food this week again, like I usually do. Um, and she's gonna help me. Old master chef over here. No, but I'm gonna ta um, take you along and show you exactly what I buy for the week. These are the best thing ever. You need to try them. It's gone straight in my basket. And you need this for the fritters. Starting down here, I got my lemons, which I use for like a guac or like an avocado, like mix kind of thing. Um, and same with the red onion. So I got the avocados, got zucchinis. I'm going to use those zucchinis with the corn fritters. So I'm gonna put, I've got some carrot, which I'm gonna um, also put in there. Got some cherry tomatoes, because we're gonna make a salad. And I also use cherry tomatoes if I make um, like an omelet. Uh, mandarins, which are obviously amazing right now. The corn, the hockey and noodles, which I'm gonna use in the stir fry with the chicken. So I've got the chicken here. Uh, I'm gonna do some stir fry, some satay stir fry. And I'll also just cook that up with some kind of like, uh, like a peri peri sauce that I, we bought the other day. So I also make sure that I fulfill those cravings in a way. So my one bad thing I always crave is soft drink. I don't like lollies, I don't really like chocolate. So if I do have cravings at all, I always make sure that I try and fulfill them and, and don't try and just like wait it out kind of thing because I feel like when you wait it out, you end up going for like a big binge instead. So just like a cold looking butcher is my absolute fave. Um, then I've got some, we had to get some more flour for the, um, for the fritters as well. Some Greek yogurt, some vanilla one. Um, Again, we'll use that and we've got some frozen berries and stuff like that. So then I've got, if you've never tried these as well, these peckish, they're made out of like vegetables um, and they're just like crackers. 
So when I make like the guac or like the avocado kind of mix, we'll have that with it. So the crust kits, I'll show you exactly what I do with that as well. Um, stir fry and then the almond milk. So when I have these, I'll either have these in like the, usually coconut yogurt with these, but then sometimes if I want a snack, like before gym or something like that, I'll have it with the almond milk as well. Oh, and the last thing I get is because when we go past the coals, there's a top juice there. And I always make sure I get the big juices um, and have them for the week. So this one here, and you have to try these. If you don't like, if you like juice, you have to try these kind of ones. So this one's here more is more of like a summery one. So this one has orange, pineapple, watermelon, ginger. And that one's my favorite. And that's what I get all the time if I get a juice. And this one here is more of like a, a healthy green one. So this has celery, kale, apple, and lemon. It actually tastes really good. So when you get, if you ever get celery or kale in your thing, you make sure you get apple and lemon with it and it makes it taste really good. All right, so Maddie and I are both still working and she's about to go film it more of a video um, in the room. So we're not quite having lunch yet, but I am hungry. So I'm just having these and I'll have it with um, almond milk. Just uh, kind of moisten it a little bit. That's it, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, that's enough. There's enough to wet it. Come look at that. You little creep. It's so hard. Okay. And then, so with that, I'm gonna have just that green juice that I showed um, from yesterday when I went shopping. All right, so it's finally lunchtime and Maddie's finally finished her filming. I was kind of just waiting for her to finish her filming so we could have lunch. Hi. That's fine. Um, so that's why I kind of had a few extra snacks today. I just went for a quick walk down to the IGA and bought a hot chicken and some wraps um, because we're gonna have some chicken and salad wraps for lunch. A lot of people ask if I count like macros or if I count my calories or if I count um, all my protein or if I do protein, like supplements and stuff like that. And the answer is pretty much no to all of that. Um, I've kind of just been doing my fitness stuff and my dieting myself for the last couple of years. For, for most of my life actually. So I kind of know my own body and know what I can eat and I like having healthy food. I've been doing it for such a long time. So it's kind of easy for me to do. Um, and obviously because I love cooking, but one thing I do think is a good idea is I did a did a, like a eating program kind of thing with this place called Equolution down in Sydney. I'll tag their Instagram and stuff because honestly like that helps you so much. If you don't really know too much about um, how many calories are in certain foods. So I'll link that in Instagram like right here and you should really take a look at it because honestly it's amazing. They really show that you can actually have your treats and everything and still lose a lot of weight and still eat a lot of food. Um, I think it's a good idea that you always have your treats and if you're craving something you fulfill your craving but just have it in the right portions. So the kind of way that they work is you have to answer like a big questionnaire and everyone's different so everyone kind of moves around differently. Every different person is active in a different way um, with their work and all that kind of stuff. Everyone eats at different times so they do a big questionnaire for that kind of thing and then they also give you enough calories and do like a meal plan and stuff like that to do with each person because I know everyone digests their food differently and that kind of thing. I don't want this video to be like a full guide about how to lose weight or anything because obviously my body is super different to the next person. I know what works for myself but it's just finding the right thing for yourself instead of trying to copy what everyone else does. And also it just gives you so much more information about the kinds of foods you should be eating and that kind of thing. But yeah, hopefully that page will give you a bit of an insight. Um, this is not sponsored at all, it's just one of those pages that I tell all my friends about and especially the ones that always ask about my kind of dieting and stuff like that and what kind of foods I track and follow and stuff like that. So I'll put it down below, go have a look at it. It's actually like super helpful with everything. Um, and you'll be surprised with like some of the foods that you probably eat all the time you think it's a healthy breakfast and healthy food and what it kind of like relates to in the same form of calories um, as other meals and they do comparisons with like an acai bowl to a, um, a whole Macca's breakfast, the exact same calories. But anyway, I'm gonna have some lunch. We're finally having lunch, it's about 2 o'clock, 2.30. And I just finished it off with this. Put our straight on top and then fold it. And then done. It's ready to eat. So it's 5.20 in the afternoon now. Um, and we just finished up doing his editing and emails and stuff like that. 
I'm starting to get hungry again, but I'm gonna go do a big gym session now. So I'm gonna have a snack because I always like going to the gym like when I'm full. I don't know why. Seems to be mouthing. Right, because I am feeling a bit tired, I'm gonna have some more of these. And then with the almond milk, and then I'm gonna have some mandarins as well. I just had a quick shower because I've just talked Maddie into coming as well. She's just having a coffee now, so I've got to wait for her to finish that, get some energy, and then we're gonna go. But I feel so fresh, I feel so awake and alive again after having a shower. Kind of always happens, I always go and have a really hot shower, and kind of like just get you motivated again, feeling fresh, you know? So I did that, I had a quick trim because my stubble grows so quick. Hell yeah. We just got to the gym and there's no... What are you doing? Getting back on the treadmill, huh? Build some more laps. Getting the kilometers under the legs. All right, so I'm going to start off my session by just doing some warm ups um, with my shoulders and stuff. Because I had bad shoulders when I was young, I always make sure I do some lighter weights um, with my shoulders and then just warm them up first before I do anything heavier. It kind of warms up your whole shoulder area. So you don't get any injuries while you're lifting weights. Then the next one is still again for that shoulder region. Um, this one's a bit further back. I'll just do it a lightweight, and this time I'll put it from down low. So this one's kind of just like up, extending your arm. Alright, so once I've done those, my shoulders are feeling pumped, um, they're a little bit sore, then you know all that blood's starting to flow through. Then you can start working through and doing some heavy weights, which I'm going to do now. So I'm going to do a bit of a full body um, workout because I only got machines here, I don't have any free weights. So I'm going to start with like a lighter weight um, and do a piece of reps just to get my chest warmed up again and then I'll do one set of that and then from there I'm going to get into like the heavier weights and really press out. I'm going to do some heavy ones now. Maybe like 8 to 12 reps. So this one's gone a bit heavier. I'm going to be able to try to do like the 8 reps for these. Uh, Alright, so now that I'm getting towards my last set, I'm going to start doing, adding some legs into this one as well. And for the legs, I'm going to do just some leg extension on this. This one, I'm going on my last um, chest press. I think I'm really going to try and max it out and just see how many I can do. Um, obviously, because it's a machine, there's not too much weight on it. So I'm just going to put it down to the bottom. Put it to the last one, and then just see how many I can do. And then again, no break, and then straight back into the legs. So I'm going to do two more sets of leg extensions, but now I'm going to move on from that chest. Um, and maybe put, so what you can do with this, is put it up to a shoulder press, so it goes straight up instead. Two more sessions. Two more sessions. Why do I keep saying that? Two more sets of this shoulder press. This time I'm going to up the weight a little bit, not do as many reps. I'm um, really just get that burn going on the shoulders. Another oh, really good one. Just really doing like supersets, which really gets your breathing going and everything. Really gets that blood flowing the whole way. And also it just keeps that heat in your fat, in that extra fat. Now time to move on to the back. I'm gonna do some lats, legs ones, which also start getting my shoulders and my arms going again. So I'm just gonna hold the head I've also got sent these new ASICs. I've worn the ASICs since I was young, but honestly, they're the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn. Okay. So you really can see where it's going. Mm. Thank God no one else walked in then. <laughs> right, now the big boss is in. Taking her for a session. Oh. Oh. Oh, where did it go? Alright, so this one's just another shoulder burner. This one's my last shoulder burner. Similar to what I pulled out with. Alright, so I'm going to do some low weight again. And this one, I'm going to keep it on straight. Um, 
and we shot them down. We have two shot them down, just straight out. And because it's like a burning set, I'll do one with the back part of the one. That's more of a good thing. There's me no rest in between these, and it's all four sets. These are the last two, so I'm going to do my arms. So first I'm going to do burn on the way to triceps. So I'm going to do like two sets, two for the ones. Then I'm going to do two on the, uh, my biceps. Right, just got back, my camera died, but just finished everything and well, I'm dying. That was a good session, definitely need that. That's my session done, session done. That's kind of all I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, um, especially while I've been going over like Splendor and being down in Sydney because I haven't been to a proper gym. But I'm about to make um, our last meal for the day, which is dinner, and I'm gonna make some satay chicken, some rice, um, and some veggies all in together. Our food's finally ready, we're gonna go um, watch our TV show we're currently watching the Animal Kingdom. So we're gonna go watch that now and eat our dinner. But, hope you like the video. But we should have another one coming out pretty soon as well. Um, we're gonna film another one before I head back to Brisbane mm -hmm. in a couple of days. I'm gonna finish it here and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>